It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. It is happening. Today is a very exciting day because we have our first full-fledged teaser trailer cutscene for Cold War Zombies. And on top of that, we have the logo key art. New storyline teasers. It is all happening today. And I'm going to be covering it all for you guys in this video. And as I've been talking, yes, that is the official key art for Cold War Zombies. Just look at that logo. Look at the artwork of the soldier. It just looks absolutely amazing insane it's insane that this is a Treyarch zombies i'm so excited for it and if you guys are as well be sure to drop a like on the video right now there is a heck of a lot to get through in this video so trust me we will get to the gameplay teaser just bear with me a moment because we need to look at this artwork right here and point out a few things that you guys are going to be very very happy with first of all we've got a brand new zombies logo probably not a big deal to some but to me this is huge because it's been the same looking logo since black ops 2 so this already shows us we're turning a new page if we look up we can see the soldier is half soldier then half zombie which gives us a great indication as to where these zombies could have originated from but we're going to go one step further in this video above the zombies helmet if we invert the colors here on this red strip what do you see ladies and gentlemen circled in black that is right, the Juggernog logo. If it wasn't already exciting enough hearing Juggernog a few weeks ago in that teaser, it's there right in our faces. It doesn't change. It looks exactly the same. Absolutely beautiful. If we darken the red on the other strip of red on this image, we can also see the same Omega logo that we saw from the teasers last week. And I'm calling it now. This is going to be the symbol for the important group that the story is going to be centralized. Like, you know how we have group 935 in the original Eva story? Well, I'm very confident that this alpha symbol is fully tied in with the new group that is going to be focused on in this storyline as the creators of the zombies. As we play this key art animation through, you can see that there is fire and flesh burning off the zombies, which looks absolutely amazing. And something to note as well in the other red strip in the bottom looks to be part of the American flag, which I think is going to be very important because the themes we've had so far and today with these new teasers is that this isn't American zombies whatsoever, but a combination of Russian and German zombies. Now, going to the first frames of this key art teaser, we can see a bunch of propaganda in red before it appears with our soldier artwork. And you can see on the right is some very exciting stuff, which also points in the direction of where our zombie storyline is going. We have a rocket and we also have a Soviet spacesuit. Like if we compare this image to what the Soviet spacesuit looks like, the detailings on this is absolutely identical. Going all the way back to August when we had the first teaser reveal to the VHS tapes daily, one of them spoke about the space race, which is very interesting. If you aren't aware, it was a competition during the Cold War between the Soviet Union and the United States to achieve the first in space flight capability. There is tons of this propaganda all around the Moscow map, which I noticed when I was playing the the alpha like this stuff was littered everywhere on the moscow map and it seems that it's very relevant in the world of zombies now i know a lot of you guys are here to see just the teaser trailer and you don't care too much about this stuff but honestly there was so much given to us today that there is more that you need to know beyond just watching the teaser trailer now this is very very short it's only about five to six seconds so i'll loop it a few times then i'm going to slow it down break it down so we can work out every little detail so here we go this thing right down and i think the thing you can notice straight away is oh my god this is so gory you can see that these zombies are classic german black ops one zombies here hard to work out exactly what weapon these soldiers are shooting the zombies with but to me it looks and sounds like a ppsh and if we're getting the PPSH back, I'm already sold. This looks absolutely insane. It looks so gory. It looks very World War II zombies-esque to me. Like, that's the vibes I was getting straight away. So to see that in 
a Treyarch game, I'm actually incredibly excited by the prospect. You can see right at the beginning that there are a lot of zombie bodies piled up, so this is not the first attack. They've already been going through this for quite a while. I'm trying to work out what the exact nationality of these soldiers are. My potential first instincts were that they were Russian soldiers. They're wearing a very distinct uniform and have a unique badge on their arms. If you have any ideas, please let me know down below in the comment section. But aside from that, we can't really work out too much from this. This looks to be in the power room area that we saw in the second half of the teaser gameplay a few weeks ago. It's got the same sort of frames. But aside from that, I can't really tell where this is. It seems to be some sort of power room. But aside from that, it's very hard to work out what this environment is. It's all filmed on a very old school camera with that very old school filmic look. But the most exciting thing while watching this is the context of how Treyarch presented this, where they tweeted a new zombie story begins. So what we're looking at is something that doesn't involve premise, Ultimus, Victus, Targeta Totem ending, nothing like that. This is a complete brand new beginning for zombies, which could still be in the Aether storyline based on some of the previous clues we've had. Of course, we're in Nacton and Totem, so of course it is slightly linked. And of course, with Juggernog and the Monkey Bombs returning, Aether is still sprinkled here, but we really don't have too much to go off. But we have even more clues to try and work out what's going on. By solving the final steps of the Easter egg, it got us to porntexporn.com forward slash king hunt, where we have some new images. The first image is this, which looks absolutely awesome. It looks like a deal that a Soviet leader is having with someone wearing a gas mask. You can see in the background these soldiers that are stood like in position. This looks straight out of like an intro cutscene for the map, and it looks really, really cool. There is some weird blue slash purple splodge of ink all over the photograph, particularly on his eye. I'm not sure how important that is, but when I see this image, the first thing I think about is one mission from Black Ops 1 called Project Nova. In that mission, it details the events which led up to Viktor Reznov's incarceration in Vorkuta and the death of a familiar character from Call of Duty World at War. There was a lot of these vibes walking through the Rizalka boat where you saw Soldiers looking just like this. Clearly, the leader here and the guy with the gas mask are having some sort of deal because they're shaking hands, but what that could be, we don't really know. But we have this idea again of radiation potentially from the gas mask that we got from the teasers the other day with the Geiger counter. This next image is really, really interesting that shows a VHS tape being packaged away in an envelope. Now, the VHS tape has a label written in Russian, but the address is somewhere in Germany. The VHS has the words Final Station written on it. Now, what could that mean? I first thought of potentially a number station from Black Ops 1, and it's just news about a final station, which could perhaps explain why Nacta and Toten is being used. Perhaps it's also a sleeper agent station, just like we saw with the Rosalka boat at the end of Black Ops 1. I don't really know. If you have any ideas, let me know. But the envelope is labeled Norman Straub 20 House 1, which is a real life place on Google Maps. It takes us to somewhere in Berlin, which is ironically very close to to the Stasi Museum, also in Berlin. And the Stasi Museum was the former headquarters of the East German Secret Police. It was formed in 1950 and dissolved in 1980, and it was described as one of the most effective and repressive intelligence and secret police agencies ever to have existed, with a huge relationship with the KGB, which ties in incredibly well to the main storyline of Cold War. And if we reflect on the graffiti in the teaser gameplay, this style of graffiti was very common to see in Berlin. And we even have an image of the graffiti that Treyarch have replicated into Nacta and Toten by replacing the cartoon image of the tiger and the kid with a bunny rabbit and a skeleton, which is incredible. Now going back as well to the astronauts and everything involving that, there was a secret project called Project Mercury, which was the first human space flight of the US and was an early highlight of the space race. And look at the logo that they used. It's very similar to what we're seeing in all of the teasers for this Omega symbol, which is crazy. I remember a few days ago, we got a weird audio note from someone called Tatiana. Well, we have another radio from her that we can listen to right now. Don't speak. Just listen. They know what you did. They're on their way to you right now. So if you want to live, don't waste time being sentimental. 
The cat will be fine. The only thing that matters is the tape. I will coordinate with Requiem to arrange extraction, but for now, you have to stay hidden. Go to Misha's old farmhouse and hide in the barn. Don't worry, the rats are not as big as you remember. Stay there till morning. Then, call me from the payphone by the station. We will get you out. I pr Good luck. Now, to me, this definitely sounds like she's talking in some sort of code when it comes to certain parts of this message. Let me know what you think of this all down below in the comment section if you are excited, as I know I am for sure. You're going to want to make sure you have the bell ticked for Wednesday and beyond so you don't miss out on the zombies reveal. We'll be here breaking it all down, showing you guys everything there is to know about zombies and beyond. So if you're new, be sure to subscribe. If you're excited like I am, drop a like rating. Any thoughts, leave them down below thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel if you're new or you've been watching for years i super appreciate it you can check out the live stream of this easter egg hunt live on your screen right now but thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one